share with you guys something about about me I would I went to Brazil and actually used to live there um, for quite a long time like for for six years and then I had like one year break and then I came back it's been almost a year that I'm away from from that country and I still remember uh, things that I really loved about this country and the things I really hated it's August so by the time I'm recording this uh, August 2020, so it's like a pandemic year. When we have the possibility to travel, when we have the possibility to, to go on a trip, to, to get to know other people, to get to know other culture, mentalities, we are very lucky. We have a great gift to, to, to get to know people, to, to, to be able to communicate with them, of course. It's not only necessary to travel, it's necessary to talk to people, it's necessary to, uh, to observe other customs, uh, traditions and uh, mentalities. And what I find um, so amazing about traveling, especially now when I, when I can do it and I miss it so much, it's comparing mentalities, it's seeing other people's mentality and by living in a foreign country we are able to to spot these things that we wouldn't be able to do without emerging ourselves into other culture and today i wanted to share with you what i really loved about brazil and what i really hated uh, about brazil one of the best things i found about brazilians is their openness is their spontaneity um is their um, is they being ready to help like they love foreigners they are so spontaneous they are very talkative they their emotional intelligence is on a higher level for sure than uh, Europeans uh, emotional intelligence very often we say that some people they emanate positive energy and since I I used to live in Brazil Apart from obvious things like, okay, it's dangerous, okay, uh, you should be careful on the street, etc. But since I used to live there, I noticed how positive and sincerely happy Brazilians are. Like the temperament, their personality uh, is really on a, on, a, on a higher vibrational level and uh, it's contagious. <laughs> In pandemic times, it might... Uh, be a little, it might be associated in, in a funny way, but it's really contagious. Like they are on a higher vibrational level. The second thing I loved about Brazil uh, was uh, was the fact that they really know how to live here and now. They are not stuck in the past. They are not regretting what it was or how bad it was or how good it was, and they had that nostalgia, although. Being melancholic and uh, full of love to, to what they don't have is called saudade. So they really feel that melancholy, that nostalgia. They are nostalgic, it's, they are very romantic. But they know how to, how to ground themselves into here and now and how to, how to enjoy, how to celebrate time. Good times, how to celebrate good times, small victories, how to be childlike curious and I learned from them that that's that's their gift and uh, I really learned how to appreciate what we have how to f express our emotions more how to be even friendlier to strangers like you can have a nice chit chat with, with a pedestrian it doesn't mean that he's dangerous like like you can you can exchange some thoughts you can you can be simply simply here and now and uh, get to know a lot of uh, things and 
and even ask for help and out of the blue it turns out that the person is so ready to help you and uh, that being able to express their emotions and being helpful and being opened and having that ability to to live here and now it's something that amazes me uh, the third thing that I want to share with you is of course um, being optimistic I am Polish so Polish people are very famous for for complaining they are like complainers like we we, are, we excel at being at, at complaining and being complainers we come on we're perfect they are themselves they they know how to how to love themselves like especially women they they are not afraid of showing how feminine they are they are intense they they are proud of being so such intense women which for me a polish woman who has always been tamed and uh, don't show off don't brag be humble uh, don't be too talkative don't be too elegant don't be uh, too expansive uh, maybe that's why I became so uh, eager to communicate because when I was a little kid I they told they were telling me at school to 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 do this or that and to be humble not to brag and to show off and then a lot of a lot of kids like me they then they are afraid of, of appreciating themselves and but I think it's a national characteristic of, of, of our ours like Polish people tend to under appreciate themselves so what I found amazing about Brazilians, about Brazilian women, is that they know their worth. They, they do it naturally. They, they are proud, they are intense, they are expressive, they are emotional. They put makeup, they put colors, they, they laugh, they enjoy, they just go with the flow. And that's what I loved. I got to know a lot of Brazilian women and uh, I love them. They are amazing. Thank you. Muito obrigada. And the fifth one is churrasco, like Brazilian meat. And I'm telling you guys, if you're vegan and you don't appreciate someone eating meat, I'm telling you sincerely, you can switch off this video because I eat meat from time to time. I reduce the quantity, that's for sure. But uh, I still eat meat, actually the cows behind me. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, so uh, I loved churrasco, I loved Brazilian meat, so whenever my Brazilian friends were inviting me to, 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 to enjoy the party, I was, uh, I was experiencing <laughs> that, uh, that uh, churrasco experience. <laughs> I, I loved it, especially because in Poland we don't have very good meat. That's why maybe it's easier in Poland to become vegan, who knows. Five things that I hated about Brazil. The first thing was kind of a practical nature. I wanted to get a bus, so I went to a bus stop, but there was no timetable. All right, so maybe maybe someone stole it, but it didn't seem like there was a lack of something that something someone damaged the thing. I don't know, like the, the bus stop. And then it turned out that they don't put timetables at the bus stops. Like you have to count the time of arrival of a, of a bus you want to take counting from their time of leaving the main terminals in the city and uh, the city I used to live in, Curitiba, is in the south of Brazil in the state of Paraná uh, it's a big city so you have to find the, the nearest terminal and it's okay like uh, terminal where I used to live close to was named Cabral, not Cabron, no, <laughs> Cabral and whenever I wanted to take a bus I had to access the timetable from Cabral and count the time of arrival like how many minutes how much time does it take from this bus stop to another one to another one and then I had to count that was kind of weird the second thing that I found weird was like when I first had to go to the loo yeah guys you, you didn't misunderstood you didn't misunderstand I had to go to the loo and then I found out that every person like <laughs> no no the toilet wasn't crowded but every person who wants to do his business there he has to throw after using the toilet paper to the trash bin it was gross to me and i thought that there was something broken like the the insulation the tubes were were broken or something that's why people were throwing the toilet paper away to the trash bin but no they don't throw toilet paper to the the toilet itself because it might damage 
the tubes which are very thin <laughs> themselves already because of the system so gross so since i am an independent woman at least i i want to be uh i did my uh i have my driving license so i managed to get a, a document an international driving license which i really needed to to drive a car in brazil and one day i decided to drive a car uh, since my boyfriend at the time he used to drive his car like crazy but in brazil at almost every road uh, had four lines into the same direction and then there was a constant movement of the cars like that and i'm not exaggerating and in order to to get in order to to drive faster they were just going ahead of one car and ahead of another and another so it was a constant slalom and i couldn't drive like that it was a very traumatic experience for me so after i tried once i got so stressed out that i told everybody and i said to my boyfriend never again <laughs> especially because I was in Curitiba and Curitiba is very famous for, for very aggressive drivers. So by the time I was behind a wheel and I had to deal with all that mess that was going on in the center of Curitiba, Curitiba, because that's the right pronunciation, uh, I started to curse in Polish. And <laughs> since in Curitiba, a lot of people with Polish origins live, maybe they understood me. Um, another thing that I, that is uh, really, um, uh, common because I I used to tell that story and I still keep on telling that story to my friends uh, about the fact that every time I was in Brazil um, because I was I was spending some time in Brazil then I was coming back to Poland I had to renew my my visa because uh, I used to have university visa and then when I since I wasn't married on paper um, I had to renew my, my staying and after I finished my, my my doctoral studies there I had to renew my my saying like like every every three months um, so I used to go to, to to Policia Federal which is like a federal police and there was that section for foreigners and what I found really weird was that they were dealing with foreigners but nobody I mean literally nobody was speaking English so that time like eight years ago I, I wasn't speaking I didn't speak Portuguese like now I do speak after all these years living there uh, I've, I've lived there for eight years uh, almost uh, and I, I learned how to speak Portuguese but that time I didn't speak Portuguese so I, I spoke Italian so because of analogies I could understand a little bit but anyway it was a challenge for me so whenever I had an opportunity I was going there accompanied by someone who was helping me but there were times they had to go there on my own to renew my visa and oh my goddess oh my goodness i had to deal with the fact that nobody and there was understanding me so when i when there was someone who who was who was able to speak portuguese among foreigners i was very lucky because then they had to help me and furthermore there was a guy and he was he was dealing with my with my case let's say and not only wasn't he speaking english but also he 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 had a failure at uh, addiction like he couldn't express himself be properly because he had that problem with with uh, with expressing himself uh, properly like there was a failure in diction so it was like double trouble and i'm like oh my god uh, everybody complained that Brazilians are not punctual, but to me it was like there was no difference. Like to me it was even better. To me it was even better because because I am not a punctual person, and whoever knows me knows is aware of the fact that I'm fighting that bad habit of, of being late, especially to my friends. <laughs> I love you, my friends. Whenever I I get an appointment, I I arrive late and they they wait for me and uh, I don't do it on purpose. I'm just like that. Like my time management sometimes, or very often, it it depends on on a on the level of seriousness of the situation. But uh, whenever you you get an appointment, you should be punctual. And so I am very Brazilian when it comes to my time management. So maybe that's why I found myself there so so well. 
Uh, at the same time, I got to know that there are some Brazilians who are really exaggerated when it comes to punctuality because they are so fed up with they just uh, they are pissed with it and they want to be very German and Swiss about time management, which is at the same time another exaggeration. I am sending you hugs from all my heart, a lot of gratitude, a lot of positivity, positive energies, and. Uh, if you have, uh, if you've been to Brazil, what did you like about Brazil? What you didn't? What did you find weird? What, what did you find funny? What did you find unacceptable or traumatizing or perfect? Uh, leave the comments down below. Like my video or, or, or dislike, but I hope that you do like that you did like and whenever you have some ideas you can you can contact me by leaving a comment down below and i love you guys and goodbye